and welcome to my channel. I may not know, I still go to school. I'm on my second year of high school, should have been my third year, but I switched programs so I had to retake my first year. But yeah, my second year of high school, I have a bit of experience when it comes to school and I have a lot of friends. Well, I don't have a lot of friends, but I have some friends. I know people that might not know me, but I know them, kind of, maybe, I don't know. In this video, I am going to talk to you about, or yeah, I'm going to talk about the school grading system, which in my country and I know is in America as well, is A to F, or F through A, whatever you like to see it, however you like to see it. I don't know English. Let's take it back a notch. In Sweden, we used to have, when I still went in school, or when I went in school, or when I went in like middle school, we had the grading system G, VG, and MVG, which basically in English stands for good, um, or past, very past, and very well past, which doesn't really make any sense at all. But that's our grading system, and it was quite easy to get the highest uh, grading, which was MVG. The grading system was still made for humans. The grading system was still made for humans. But some people thought that it was too easy for uh, students to get the highest grade, so they changed the grading system into A to F or F to A. The new system, the new grading system that we have now is F E D F E D C B A. That was difficult. Uh, <laughs> that's the grading system we have now, same as in America. I don't know if the difficulty levels of getting an A or getting an E is the same in America as it is here in Sweden. But to get an A on a test, you need to have every single answer right. You can have one wrong, or maybe you can have just one wrong, but that's about it. If you have more than one, then you get a B. I know a lot of people who have gotten anxiety and panic attacks, and well, mostly anxiety, and they become depressed because the pressure on students today are so great that we can't deal with it anymore. I asked one of my very good friends named Alia how she could have straight A's like she honestly had A's in every single subject in her first year and now she is um what's it called she's she's most of us we want to have a good job whether that's for just having a good job make money or because we like expensive shoes so we need to be successful in life when it comes to work. Her doctor basically had to write a note to the school that she is legitimately like sick and she can't come to school. And she is, she's depressed um, and she has anxiety because school is putting too much pressure, too much pressure on us, on her to get good grades. A lot of people get depressed, they get anxiety and they get anxious because they want to have these amazing grades, but this grading system makes that if you have A's in on every single test, except one, where you might get, get a C, then the whole final grade will go down from an A to a D or a C because of one test. You can't have one single bad day because then your grades will drop. This grading system makes that you can't have a bad day. You need to be on your game. You need to be on the top of your game every single day. If you have one bad day on a test or whatever it may be, your grade will drop. Studies from these tests that we, I think all European, European countries do does this, is called um, Mensa. It's something well test that um, every single European country does in this school where they test a certain amount of students in one year and they see how good they are on specific subjects such as math and Swedish and English. I think those are the main focuses. And it showed that Swedish students have dropped our grades and our intelligence, so to speak, has dropped from being quite good to being really bad. And this politician, Jan, he says that we need 
better grades. We need to start getting grades from first grade instead of fifth grade. And before that, he dropped it from seventh grade to fifth grade. And now he wants first years or third years to have grades. As from age of six, seven, you will be graded for the next 13 years of your life. Congratulations. You're six. How much do you know when you're six? How much do you know when you're eight? You don't know shit. <laughs> like, the highlight of my day was when I got to colour in a book. Like, our grading system is sick. This grading system is for robots, they're for machines, they're for things that only have good days. And even robots have bad days because sometimes they need to be repaired. Starting to get grades sooner or early in life is not going to make your grades become bad. It's just going to put a lot more pressure on younger kids. And those kids are probably, or the risk of those kids getting anxiety or getting depressed really, really early in life is so much greater and the thing is this politician doesn't understand that having the greatest system that we have doesn't really make me motivated to study because i know if i have a bad day then all my studying and everything i fought for have been for nothing and i have bad days quite a lot as you might have understood from previous videos from previous video i don't have the fight in me to study every single moment of every day just to obtain an A and never have a bad day of my life. That's very dramatic but that's kind of how it is. We are humans, we're not robots. We have bad days. Robots even have bad days. This is not a grading system that are worth keeping. We need something better. I will need something better fast. This isn't gonna hold and this isn't gonna hold. Simple as that. We need something new, we need something better. I'm not sure how much of this I can actually use in this video, but I will see you next week on Sunday with another, with, <laughs> but I will see you next week on Sunday with another video. And yeah, bye.